I'd like to just say a word about definitions because I think one of the biggest challenges in the space is that um, you know, we've all got different, different, different definitions and even the term CSR I think of it very differently to how many other people think of it. And I have you know, spent the last sort of 20 years of my life very much focused on the role of core business, not just the community and philanthropy side. And so I and my colleague John Ruggie at, at the Kennedy School of Government define CSR very much as you know, basically how companies make their money, not just what they do with it afterwards. And we see sort of three key components of corporate social responsibility or corporate responsibility or citizenship or sustainab sustainability <laughs> and and I think these three components are very relevant for any company in any industry sector and arguably any any country and, and the first is you know, first and foremost how does a company manage its core business operations and its value chain with the goal at a minimum to manage risks and to you know have no negative impact or negative externalities and optimally to create shared value and creating shared value can be through inclusive business models if you know, that makes sense for your industry it can be you know, greater resource productivity and your know, great energy efficiency initiatives um, it can be obviously you know new products and services for low-income consumers so you know, there you know, clearly are a lot of opportunities I think in any industry sector for a company to create profit and competitive advantage by directly addressing a social or a development challenge. Um, so, so that's the first element is you know, how does a company manage its core business both to identify, avoid and manage social and environmental and human rights risks and to proactively and creatively create shared value. And then the second component I think you know, remains important is you know, how does a company manage its community investment, its employee volunteering, its foundation, its philanthropic dollars and leverage those as effectively as possible to be aligned to the company's core capabilities, core business interests. And in, in many cases, the, you know, the community investment can be sort of catalytic financing for something that becomes shared value over time or part of the core business over time. So there's the you know, managing the core business, both for risk management and shared value. There's the sort of you know, philanthropy community aspects of being as strategic as possible. And then third and last, which I think is really important, is how is a company using its public policy voice, its advocacy, its engagement in policy dialogue, its role in strengthening institutions, particularly in developing countries, in working collectively around sort of um, you know, uh, uh, public you know, common goods problems, mm -hmm. which no one entity can can solve on its own. And so I think you know, whether you're an ICT company or an agribusiness company or a financial services company or an oil, gas or mining company, those three components of how do you manage your core business to manage risks and create shared value, um, you know, how do you be as strategic as possible in your community investment and, and employee engagement, and thirdly, how do you, you know, very transparently and, and strategically engage in public policy dialogue and institution strengthening to you know, make the ecosystem in which you operate um, you know, better. So, so those are you know how we define from our side corporate responsibility, and I think as I say, any industry sector, any company can influence development through all three of those levels, and certainly influence women's empowerment.